Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this, but as a creator, I can kind of see what you guys search up to find me. And a good amount of people want to know how to make realistic water. Now, I'm not sure what they mean by realistic, because I've seen some games where like the water system is genuinely mind-blowing, and honestly, I'm not that good. But I can show you guys a way to make your boring Roblox water look a lot better. And it literally takes like two seconds. It's just literally shifting a slider over. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Because why not? I'm making a bunch of short videos recently. Let's just this, <laughs> let's make another short one. So basically, all you have to do is add water. Step one to making realistic water, just add water. Jokes aside, if you go to home terrain, assuming you have this new studio UI, which honestly, it's kind of growing on me. If you don't have it, it should you should just be able to find a terrain in the main tab. Uh, but yeah, so I have my terrain editor. I am just gonna add like a couple of these like little cylinders. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So I'm gonna highlight, uh, let's see. Yeah, we can highlight like that with select. And I'll just pick water and press fill. And now we have water. Okay, okay, unhighlight, please, unhighlight. All right, so now that I have my crevasse with water, how do I make it look realistic? Well, if you go into workspace and then you click terrain and you go to properties, you have a bunch of things you can customize. And it's actually beyond water. Like if you want to change the color of this grass and make it red, you can. So yeah, you guys can mess with that, but you're, you're here for water. So really all you want to do is turn the water transparency up and you could tweak the reflectance. I like to keep the reflectance up. But yeah, really all you do is turn the water transparency up. Because like this is what it looks like by default. When you turn it up, it makes it all clear and pretty looking. And then if you want, you can just increase the size and maybe the speed. We'll just keep the size like this. And yeah, there you go. And what really changes the look of the water is actually the skybox. So if I delete the skybox and I add this one from the toolbox, so I'll just do skybox. And we're going to pick that, that one sunset skybox. Yeah. You can kind of see like it's reflected onto the water, which makes it look kind of pretty. And then just for the sake of it, I'm going to remove the, whoa, I'm going to remove the base plate because nobody needs that. And yeah, now I have pretty water. See, isn't that nice? This water looks great, I think. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, anyway, don't forget to brush your teeth. Uh, have a wonderful day. I'll be uploading again soon, probably, because I can't stop uploading. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see so I can make sure to avoid it in my next tutorial. Buh bye bye